Mission accomplished, Lancers. Tikhonov is officially ours. Crucius Lancer Command has accepted the surrender of Tikograd and the major population surrenders around the planet. While pockets of resistance still exist, they currently do not possess the numbers or the coordination to be considered a major threat. The 8th Crucius will be indefinitely posted on assignment here to administer the transfer of power to the Federated Sons. From here, they will be tasked with tracking down the remaining resistance fighters and securing a permanent hold on the entire system. As for the rest of the Crucius Lancers, all mech warriors and combat personnel are granted a month's worth of leave for R&R. All command and technician personnel will remain focused on repairs and refitting our equipment for our next assignment. In a month's time, the Crucius Lancers will be breaking apart into individual regiments for the next phase of Operation RAT. Once we ship out, we will brief the battalion on our next objective. For now, get some rest while you can. Be sure to collect any company provisions from the market while we are still together, and take this opportunity to perform any repairs and refits to your mechs and equipment before we deploy to our next assignment. Okay, so I, that was on the end of the last episode, I think. Like, I f remember reading that, but that's okay. Anyway, we're back. We're doing some uh, more of this wonderful campaign. Um, thoroughly enjoying it. Wave three of Operation Rat has begun. From here, the Crucis Lancers will divide and conquer a number of systems, securing our grip of the Tikhonov commonality. The second and third Crucis Lancers' next assignment is to take the world of Tigris. Boasting one of the highest standards of living and well-educated populaces in all of the Capellan Confederation, Tigris has acted as a cultural center and brain trust of the Capellan state for centuries. Bringing Tigris to heel will consolidate the Federated Sun's might throughout the Terran Corridor, and further secure our hold of vital jump ship routes into the Lyran Commonwealth. Its conquest will also rob House Liao of a major population center containing some of the Capellan state's brightest minds and wealthiest families, hampering the Confederation for generations. Given the system's wealth and nobility, House Liao has stationed significant defenses on Tigris. With only 2nd and 3rd battalions assigned to this invasion, we should expect to encounter stiff resistance to our occupation, as we will not be able to rely on the same amount of support that we received on Tikhonov. But always remember, the Lancers have already done what not even the Star League could do. We took the unconquerable world of Tikhonov. Compared to that, there is nothing that Tigris can throw at us that we haven't already faced before. Kestrel Lancers, we are about to make planet fall onto Tigris. Aerospace sweeps of our targeted LZs show no opposing forces waiting for us. From what the reconnaissance has shown, mech and vehicle forces are currently stationed just outside the largest population centers. It appears that the Capellan defenders will allow us to land on Tigris uncontested. We believe they are holding these defensive positions anticipating a blitzkrieg similar to our attack on Tikhonov, but that will not be our strategy this time. Unlike Tikhonov that had major population centers ac scattered across the planet, Tigris's primary center of power rests in a c concentrated cluster of multiple cities and townships ca called Wow. Sugi Sugi Cheng Cheng Chi Cheng Chi Cheng Oh man called something in, J in Chinese that I can't pronounce and someone will tell me, meaning the four cities. To control Tigris, we only need to neutralize the four cities to bring it under our control. To do this, the Kestrel Lancers will be dropping 40 clicks north of the city behind a small but dense forest named Eulor's Grove. Our sister unit, the third Crucius Lancers, will be landing east of the four cities at, at the base of the Granite Field Mountains. Both battalions will regroup at our planned forward operating bases and then move to initiate a coordinated pincer attack against the four cities. Before we can move against the four cities, both regiments of Crucius Lancers must secure forward operating bases to prepare for our eventual pincer attack. Our FOB will be located within Ulov's Grove. U sorry. Ulov's Grove. Once planet side, you are able to advance along the nav point route until you reach our planned destination location for the FOB and clear out any potential hostiles that may be occupying its location. Provided the Capellan defenders maintain their defensive positions, we should be able to secure our FOB with only marginal enemy resistance expected. Good luck, everyone.
Let's do this. The fulcrum of power on Tigris is a heavy concentration of the system's populace, clustered around a number of townships and cities known locally as Suga Chongxi, the four Suga. cities. I got We've pretty close. Ball, 40 clicks north of our main objective, shielded by a small but dense forest known as Yorlor's Grove. While the third has made planet fall in the Granite Field Mountains to the east of our objective. All right. We are each set to advance on the city from both directions and attempt a pincer attack to claim the four cities. Tread carefully. While Tigris is not the fortress world that Tikhanov was, we will not have the luxury of having the full might of all eight Lancer regiments on our side. For this campaign, it's just us and the third. Ooh. So watch each other's backs and don't do anything reckless. Oh, that looks awesome. So I think we got a pretty good lance here. Um, that Trev is a weak point, but he should at least put out damage. Um, the quick draw can tank because I built it to do that. It's not the Portal tankiest, but we'll do we deal. Have any intel on our op four? Neo Intelligence reports Warrior House Hiritsu and Kur intruders have been stationed on Tigris. Oh, House Hiritsu. Oh, shit. A mercenary battalion with direct ties to the ruling family of Tigris. Beyond that, we have no intel on if those units are stationed here at full strength or only have a handful of battalions stationed here on garrison duty. So our best estimates range from one to three regiments worth of hostiles in city. Uh. That's quite a range, sir. All the more reason to tread carefully, Mech Warrior. Continue to follow the Mark Nav point route to our planned encampment site. Once we've set up a foothold within the system, we'll send out recon squads to see what is what. Two battalions against three regiments? That's the stuff of legends right there. Marshal Davian, I'm getting some heavy sensor disruption. Could be the Liao scouting our formations. Glad we got an atlas with us. It's a mean little Davian Lance, eh? Cataphract, Hunchback, Blackjack, and Atlas? Yup. Contact! I have multiple heavy contacts lighting up across the board. IFF identifies them as Kerr's intruders, Liao's premier assault regiment. All Lancers, weapons free. This one. Looks like those ravens weren't scouting our forces, but screening the intruders' numbers. No shit. Why am I shit. reading serial codes on these hostiles? The Confederation lost much of their domestic assault net production back in the Second Succession War. Kerr's intruders makes up for that by fielding large amounts of Davian salvage. Just focus on their IFF signatures. Easier said than done, with all of this sensor jamming. Target acquired. Taking it. Focus the target. I wish I could upgrade engine sizes in these. It'd be nice to drop these two mediums or do some work and see if we can. All right, Atlas, you and I, let's go do this. Missed it. Double missed it. Man, on, on a roll right now. Okay, they'll finish him off, or I will when I get around this corner. Oh. All right, 
dead enforcer, we're good to go. I took more damage than anyone else there, but that's okay. I think I'm okay. I think I can handle that. Wait, survive ambush secondary. Well, we did, didn't we? Unless there, unless that interference was. No. Let's roll on. We're good. Our supports. My sensors are all over the place. We can't shoot straight with all this interference. Someone take those ravens out. Uh. Engaging commander's target. Go get him, my friends. What the hell? A charger just shoot through my torso with a large bore auto cannon. That must be one of those new variants whipped up by Hellspawn Industries. Focus on taking them down quickly. Those are carrying more than just pop cap lasers and can be quite lethal up close. Approach them with caution. Oh, that's that new charger. Ooh. SRM's auto cannon 20. That thing's a monster. Kill it. Oh God, friend. My aim is all fucked. bit of an ugly fight, I'm not gonna lie, those two chargers came out of fucking nowhere. Okay, I now can't click. Hold on. Friend. Seriously. Oof. But half the time that fires when I click back in. I'm a little fucked up here. I'm not sure. I think I made a choice. I should have gone past those chargers, but I didn't know how fast they were. Off the top of my head, I can't tell you if they uh, how much the engine went down from the 400 that's in those things. Uh, AC20 is what 14. A couple of SRM6s they had. They certainly didn't feel like they had less armor. So I mean, I let's assume it's a 300 XL or a 300 engine. Maybe they put an XL in it. I can't remember how prevalent XL engines were before the clans. I feel like this is going to be a long mission. Oh no, we're almost there. Where did you come Copy. from? We're on it, sir. It's like PPC actually works at close range in this game, so I'm not going to argue. Oh, Ha! Wow. 
Wow. He got hit so hard, 35 tons of... Oh, Atlas died. Killed an atlas. One final push should be all we need. Whew. That was uh that was a sneaky fucking ambush, I gotta give him that. Very sneaky, very impressive. I mean I was looking right at where that raven was and I could not see him. I'll have to look back at the footage and see if he was there or if he spawned. I'm gonna pull up here and let our blue guys come and join us. And I'm gonna go everybody uh, forward. What now? Can't target that. Relocating to that spot. Send our boys forward. They got more armor than me. Holding a spot X-ray. Everybody, forward. Regrouping out requested. That hunchback's going to spring it. Stop Whoa, no, wrong button. We're moving, sir. Target is now priority. Break everything so I can... Really, dude? Punch out. Finish him off, finish him off. on in there. Get on in there. I got a little bit of armor left. Nice. Finish off whatever stragglers 
you can find, but let the rest of them go. The third is counting on us to it's be a good in position fight. for our joint assault. We need to save our manpower for the fight ahead. Continue along to the marked nav points. We still need to reach and secure our forward operating base. Great work, Commander. We took a beating, but crippling Kerr's intruders takes a key Liao assault battalion off the board. You've provided a great service to House Davian this day. This should make our engagements with the elite warrior house troops easier. Man. Yeah. <laughs> this is so good. Alright. And this or what? There we go. What did we get? We probably didn't get much of anything that is salvageable. I mean... Put a couple of ravens in our pocket, but not really interested. Well, I mean, a uh, ECM mech is... We'll run into him again. No doubt. All right, damages were covered. We're in good shape. I'm going to have to go back and clean up some of these in between uh, missions, I think. All right, well, thanks for watching. We're going to I'm going to peel out and get this edited up while it's still under half an hour. Uh, if you have suggestions for what we can do at Team Red Shirt, we will uh, definitely listen to them. Just leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Tell us how we're doing. All right. Thanks for watching.